Would investing in dividend ETFs be a good hedge against inflation? Hmm. Investing in dividend ETFs means that you're investing in stock market and the stock market is an awesome inflation hedge historically. What I just talked about, like during these hyperinflationary periods where the stock market can kind of struggle, uh, is a piece of that overall puzzle. But if you look long term as inflation picks up, you need some assets that can grow at a higher rate than inflation. And the stock market is one of them. And the real estate is another one that is often used uh, as an inflation hedge. So when you're buying a dividend, you know, uh, producing ETF, you're buying stocks. And those that's that's to me, that's more important than the dividend is the, the stock because, OK, maybe you're getting a three, four five percent, you know, dividend. Uh, but that stock might average an 11% return like the S&P 500 has long term. So that's a bigger impact, the actual growth of those pieces. And so that's where I'd be a little bit cautious about a dividend ETF purely because they're actually lower growth. One of the reasons that these companies, well, at and is a great example. So at and has been struggling with its growth, uh, but it pays a really big dividend. <laughs> Although they just announced they were cutting it back after the, they spun off Time Warner. Um, but you're not really buying at and at this point for its high growth. You might be buying Microsoft or Apple for growth. So I actually think that growth type stocks uh, are a better hedge against inflation uh, than dividend paying stocks, but I don't have a significant problem with dividend paying. I, I just don't think it's the best avenue for fighting inflation uh, as far as that goes. And generally speaking, when we do get these higher inflationary spikes, uh, if we do have that again, then actually you want to have kind of more rounded portfolio, you know, altogether uh, and be on kind of that value side. So the dividend itself uh, is useful. It just might not be enough to really help you uh, if inflation does get really hot.